Hello math fans, welcome to my channel again and for today we have an integration problem. It's a pretty nice function. Uh, we'll be integrating from 0 to 2000 pi of 1 divided by 1 plus 5 to the power tan x. Now I'll first show you how this looks like on a graph. So I plotted this using some free graphing tool. Uh, so here is how it looks like. You can, uh, you know, use any tool to plot this like Wolfram Alpha and uh, see how it looks like and the interesting thing about this function here is that it's an odd function So let me just get back to this. It's an odd function Which means that f of x is the same as negative f of negative x In fact, let me just uh, show you this instead of having tan x if I just replace that with negative tan x uh, This is how the graph will look like so you can see the the graph in white is uh, the one which I've replaced this with negative tan x uh, and um, you can see there's, uh, although it's pointing to, you know, the, the other direction, but you can see there is a, a little bit of interesting symmetry here and uh, because of that symmetry we can use the property that um, if you integrate over an interval a, b of some function f of x uh, with respect to x, this is the same as the integral uh, from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx. So this property here works for uh, such functions. If you want to learn more about this, I will leave a link in the description to some uh, document which I believe you may find helpful. It has some uh, nice demonstration of how you can use this property. So let's get started with the problem here. So I'm going to begin by letting this integral to be called i, for example. So let i be the integral from 0 to 2000 pi of 1 divided by 1 plus 5 to the power tan x uh, dx. Okay, and um, I'm going to apply this property here. So this should be the same as, maybe I'll just change colors here. This should be the same as the integral from 0 to 2000 pi uh, of 1 divided by, so I have 1 plus 5 to the power tan. Now instead of having x, I'll have 0 plus 2000 pi, just like we have here. And that's simply 2000 pi minus x, just like we have that here. Okay, so here we go. Of course, this is with respect to x. I'll just switch back to the yellow color. So this means i equals the integral from 0 to 2000 pi of 1 divided by 1 plus 5. Now, if you expand this right here, that should be a negative tan x. Negative tan x. Okay, this is with respect to x. So... Uh, what do I do if I get here? I'm going to multiply the uh, numerator and denominator by 5 to the power tan x. And we'll see how that simplifies this. So we have the integral from 0 to 2000 pi. So I multiply here by uh, 5 to power tan x. I do that here times 5 to power tan x. Uh, so on the numerator I have... <coughs> Sorry, so I have 5 to the power tan x. Down here I have um, 5 to the power tan x uh, plus 1. Of course, this times this, I should put brackets here to make that look, you know, more mathematical. So, yeah, that should be a 1 here. Uh, there we go, with respect to x. So uh, what do I do here? So I'm going to say plus 1 minus 1, which of course doesn't change the meaning of this expression. But what that does uh, is to create something similar to what we have on the denominator here. So that's very helpful <coughs> so about that. So i equals the integral from 0 to 2000 pi. Uh, this is now going to be 5 to the power tan x plus 1 divided by 5 to the power tan x plus 1 uh, dx. I'm splitting this integral uh, plus the integral. Uh, okay, I think that should be minus because this is minus 1. So minus the integral 
cos 0 to 2000 pi uh, that's 1 divided by 1 plus 5 to the power tan x uh, dx and you should see that this integral right here oops this integral right here is the same as i so this here is i i'll just show you that where we started from here so i can move this over to the uh left hand side <coughs> okay sorry about that so i move that to the left hand side so i'll have twice that integral twice i equals the integral from 0 to 2000 pi and basically here i just have dx so 2i equals x evaluated from 0 to 2000 pi and just write the final answer in red so finally we have i equals if i substitute the upper limit that's going to be 2000 pi okay this is 2i of course if i substitute the lower limit that's just a zero so the value of the integral here is going to be 1000 pi okay 1000 pi and there we have it so yeah that's how we evaluate this integral i hope you find this video helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh also leave a comment on what you think about this problem if there are other techniques that you would have used to solve this uh, let me know in the comments if you have any problems you would like me to try out you can send them to me via email or via the google form uh, in the description of this video i'll see you in my other videos bye